there's a, a writer I, I really love, Howard Thurman, uh, and he tells of watching an old man plant pecan trees. Uh, and there were just these little, little treelets. They were not more than about two and a half, maybe three feet tall. And he says, you know, why did you not select larger trees? So into, because that would increase the possibility of you seeing them bear fruit. You know, uh, you, you, if, if you planted bigger trees, the, the likelihood of getting nuts while you're alive is a good thing. And he says, well, these trees are cheaper, and I don't have a lot of money. And so he says, so, so, so you don't expect to live to see these trees reach sufficient maturity and bear fruit. And he says, no, no, but, but is that really important? See, all my life, I've eaten fruit from trees that I did not plant. And why should I not plant trees to bear fruit for those who may enjoy them long after I'm gone. Yeah. Besides, the man who plants trees because he will reap the harvest has no faith in life. And I love that story. I love that story because it's, it's really a beautiful example of paying it forward. We all understand that, that, that expression, where you do good that's not going to directly impact or benefit you. It's going to be good for people down the road. So the fact is that much of life is made up of reaping where we have not sown. We all do that now. We all benefit from things that we did not plant. Right? And, and, and planting where we're not going to reap ourselves. You know, so